Can two introverts fall in love with each other? In a society that frequently praises extroversion and social vibrancy, introverts might sometimes feel out of place. However, when it comes to love, introverts are equally capable of forming deep, meaningful connections. This leads to an interesting question, can two introverts fall in love with each other? The answer is a resounding yes, and here's why. 1. Understanding introversion. Introversion is characterized by a preference for solitary activities or small, intimate groups rather than large social gatherings. Introverts often find social interactions exhausting and need time alone to recharge. This doesn't mean they are antisocial or unable to form relationships, instead, they seek deeper, more meaningful interactions. 2. Shared understanding and comfort. When two introverts meet, they often understand and respect each other's need for space. This inherent empathy can form a strong foundation for their relationship. They are likely to value each other's preferences for low-key activities and intimate settings, making it easier to enjoy quality time together without the pressure of constant socializing. 3. Depth in communication. Introverts generally favor deep conversations over small talk. This preference can lead to a stronger emotional connection, as both individuals are more inclined to engage in meaningful discussions about their thoughts, feelings, and aspirations. Such depth in communication fosters a sense of intimacy and trust, which are essential components of a loving relationship. 4. Respecting boundaries. One challenge introverts face in relationships is the need for personal space. When both partners are introverts, they are more likely to understand and respect each other's boundaries. This mutual respect helps prevent misunderstandings and conflicts, allowing the relationship to develop at a comfortable pace for both individuals. 5. Quality over quantity. Introverts often value the quality of interactions over the quantity. This can result in a relationship where both partners are highly attuned to each other's needs and preferences. Whether it's enjoying a quiet evening at home or taking a walk in nature, introverted couples can find joy in simple, shared experiences that strengthen their bond. 6. Challenges and Growth Like any relationship, a partnership between two introverts can face challenges. For instance, both might find it difficult to initiate social plans or express their feelings openly. However, these challenges also offer opportunities for growth. By collaborating and communicating openly, introverted couples can develop strategies to overcome these obstacles and build a stronger, more resilient relationship. 5 Crazy Facts About Nipples That You Must Know Fascinating Facts About Nipples There's no denying the considerable attention women's breasts receive. From debates about what constitutes a normal pair to their constant sexualization, few body parts attract as much focus. However, the small yet significant nipples often get overlooked. There's much more to women's nipples than their role in breastfeeding. For those unfamiliar, the nipple is the raised bump on top of the breast, sitting on the circular area called the areola. Here are five fascinating facts about nipples, covering aspects like nipple hair, areola size, and the average height of nipples. 1. Nipple makeup is a thing. No, we're not joking. The Japanese have actually created nipple makeup designed to give nipples a pinkish tint. This idea originated from the observation that Asian nipples are typically browner in color. 2. Some people have more than two nipples. If you thought Chandler's nubbin was a rare phenomenon, you might be surprised. Some people actually have extra nipples, known as supernumerary nipples. The presence of multiple extra nipples is referred to as polymastia or polythelia. In fact, an Indian man was discovered to have seven extra nipples in 2012. 3. Nipplegasm is actually real. It's exactly what it sounds like, experiencing orgasm solely through nipple stimulation. Some women can indeed reach orgasm through nipple touch alone. However, this requires highly sensitive nipples, and the experience varies greatly from person to person. 4. Rock-hard nipples may be a sign of sexual arousal. There are several reasons why nipples become erect, but sexual arousal is often the most prominent. Typically, the initial sign of sexual arousal in women is the swelling of the nipples by up to 25%. 5. Nipple hair is normal. If you're concerned about tiny bumps or thick, dark hairs around your areola, it's important to know that hairy nipples are quite common among women. 
Various factors, including hormonal fluctuations, excess production of male hormones, certain medications, and medical conditions, can contribute to the presence of coarse and wiry hairs on your nipples. Why do some people have headaches only on one side? Do you know the reason? When you think of a headache, what comes to mind? For many, it's a sharp, intense pain in the head that's both irritating and distracting, making it hard to concentrate on tasks. Headaches are common across all age groups and can be triggered by various factors. 1. Types of Headaches However, some people experience headaches in specific areas, such as the temples, the back of the head, or on one side. The location of your headache can provide valuable insights into its underlying cause and how to manage it. In this article, we'll explore why you might consistently feel pain on one side of your head. 2. The reasons why you feel only on one side. Neurological issues can cause pain on one side of the head. Here are some common brain-related conditions that may lead to unilateral headache. Occipital neuralgia, this type of headache is characterized by sharp, throbbing, or electric shock-like pain on one side of the head. It occurs when nerves between the top of the spinal cord and the scalp become damaged or inflamed. Temporal arteritis, this condition involves inflammation of the arteries in the head and neck, which can disrupt blood flow to the brain. It may cause headaches on one or both sides of the head, along with other symptoms such as muscle pain, fatigue, and jaw pain. Trigeminal neuralgia, this chronic pain condition affects the trigeminal nerve in the scalp, which transmits facial sensations to the brain. Disruption of this nerve can result in pain in the face and on one side of the head. 3. Medications. The medications you regularly take can sometimes have side effects, including headaches. Overusing these drugs can also be harmful to your health. Common over-the-counter medications that can trigger headaches include Acetaminophen Aspirin Ibuprofen 4. Other causes Other factors that can cause headaches on only one side of the head include Allergies Fatigue Head injury Infections Tumors 5. When to see a doctor a headache is generally a temporary condition that usually resolves on its own over time. If the pain becomes unbearable, you can use over-the-counter pain relievers or try some home remedies, but avoid taking more than two pills in a day. If you experience frequent headaches along with symptoms such as changes in vision, confusion, fever, neck stiffness, numbness, or weakness, it's important to see a doctor right away. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.